Hello, ladies and gentlemen. So today we are going to be doing the American Nails Faux Kalinsky. Now, this brush claims to be, it, it says that it's nylon, 100%, but they say that it works as good as sable. Um, someone suggested it to me because I had done the other, a few other vegan brushes to try to, you know, find some that actually worked. And so far, Enel Tour is the only one I found that actually works like sable. Um, that isn't just junk nylon. So we are going to try this one out today. Um, I can, it, it doesn't. So I got the starch out, put some uh, alcohol on there to clean out the starch. And we are just going to give it a quick run through and see how it does. The giveaway. So I haven't locked up comments yet. So there's still time to enter. If you, if the comments are open on the Choose Joy video, you still have time to enter, so make sure you get on over there and comment. Any comment will be entered, okay? All right, let's get started. This is gonna be a short one, I can already tell you. So, but we know it's nylon, so that is fully expected. Um, let's go ahead and get in. Dig in here, let's do it. Now, it was cut in a way that made it appear not like other nylon brushes. It didn't have that blunt edge. Now, I don't know if that's just very crafty cutting or what, but we're gonna find out. It does have a nice bamboo handle though. Um, it's picking up decent sized beads. I mean, not great, but it is cut to a point, so. I'm giving it a fair, fair shake because I Max Estrada threw me for a loop. Now I don't know what to expect anymore from nylon. Um, I haven't found one that was any good since then. Um, not even McCart. Theirs was, oof, buddy, it was bad. So we're going to give it a fair trial here. See what they got. You never know. And I've seen this brand a lot, so they got to be selling something, right? Now we're already... I'm cleaning it in between because it's nylon. I do know that. Um, I don't feel like this one is specially treated. And I'm going to show you the difference. Now it's laying okay. Not awful. But we can already see that it is just taking on a lot of acrylic. Now... If you're vegan and need a brush, um, that may be something that you are willing to deal with. So, I mean, not a ton, not as much as nylon normally does, but it is holding some. Um, I do want to show how the the Max Estrada brush, uh, the Enel Couture brush behaves, just so you can see the difference in what a really good vegan brush looks like, a really good nylon brush. Now with his, because it's specially treated, you can't, you cannot clean it in acetone. So you have to be very care careful to keep it clean. It is a little expensive, but eh. I mean, so are most decent brushes. I mean, not all of them, but. Now you can kind of see that this one isn't as dark because it's not absorbing monomer the same way the other one did. Once I lay down a couple beads, I'll show you the difference in what they look like at the end. So you can see what I'm talking about with the holding acrylic. Okay. Now they both lay down fairly decent. <clears throat> so can you see the difference in the hairs? Um, these have that, that nylon shine. This behaves almost exactly like sable. It's, it's very odd and it threw me for just, just a crazy loop. Um, because <laughs> I wasn't expecting it. Now, we're getting the typical nylon things here. Now, I will say, because of the way it's cut, it's not as bad as most nylon brushes, but it is still holding a ton of acrylic. You can see, I used one with shimmer so that you could kind of see. Um, and those light spots are where it's holding acrylic at. And the bristles have a very weird feel. I am going to go, I, I just think, you know, 
they're a better option. It does pick up fairly good sized beads though, which is rare for nylon. So I don't think it's treated. I don't think it's treated. I, it, it may be, I don't know, because it does look like nylon usually does, that dark, almost black tint to it. But it's cut a lot better, I will say that much. But it is holding some acrylic. Now you can't clean that in acetone too much or you're gonna melt that nylon. But you can kind of see I would spend the extra, I just, I would spend the extra money, you know, and get a brush that you're going to be able to use repeatedly. Although this is cleaning out somewhat decent, but you're still getting that shaping issue that you get with nylon, which I mean, yeah, you got it a little bit with this one, but not, yeah, honestly, I would, I, I don't care for it. Like I said, this is going to be a short one today, but Anyway, thank you guys for supporting my fellow nail sisters in their YouTube journey and the Telegram group, by the way. It's going smashing. This week we are going to be doing difficult ombre, um, like tricolor ombre and vertical ombre. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that and make sure you get entered to win the big giveaway. And as always, thanks for watching.